Welcome to City Skylines Mass Transit DLC where we are doing the ferry scenario and well things are going fairly good the trouble is is I've got a bit of a problem up here now in the, which I need to fix straight away before we do I talk about anything else it just means I need to get a couple of incinerators here because the, the my garbage area is now full up that should deal with some of that but we're gonna have to work on some kind of garbage disposal over here now in the first part we kind of started to grow the city we set up our first ferry routes here they're doing okay uh, if I kind of flip here and we look at this we've only got the one ferry route it's carrying fi carried 50 passengers uh, I think we've got a bit more work to do in this area I think if you click on here, or is it? Nope. I think here, and click line details, you can see here we've got a few people moving up and down. I think the problem we've got at the moment is people don't really have the reason to move, and it looks like we've got a power problem again. So, I'm just going to drop, I think I'm going to drop a couple of wind turbines in here just to keep the power going because I don't want a disease to break out. And we started growing this area out here and what I'm kind of thinking is I'm not going to come out too far this way so what I'm kind of thinking is we've got the garbage trucks up here we've got both of these that are now full and this is not particularly that efficient so what I'm going to do is come out here connect around to there so these trucks can get in and out of this area but what I'm kind of thinking is that I need some kind of road over into this area that will allow the garbage trucks to and this is a what is this road this is a six lane do I want the six lane yeah let's keep the six lane theme going I've got to be converted to these roads so Oh. Oh, let's see if we can get across here and uh, maybe yeah, it's not brilliant and I think what we can do is just just go straight for a little while the trouble is I don't really no I don't like that um, what I want is a ferry link here so that's going to have to go, but I think what we can do is connect up that there. I've just broken the power lines to my thing, so we need to get these across straight away so that I don't, don't get a wave of garbage. I think what I am going to do is put a... what's the radius on a... yeah, it's a bit icky sticky. I think what I could do probably is... We, I think we can just come across like that up to here for the moment. We'll just put a, an incinerator out here. And I think we're, we're going to need to put a water connection to it. Otherwise it's going to complain. And of course that generates power, but that should feed into this area. Again, we've got a lot of demand for residential so we're just going to keep expanding this this way and there's a little bit of demand for industrial and what I want to do now is start to I mean we've got a little bit of cash to play with and what I'm kind of thinking guys is we've got com residential here and what I'd like to do is expand this industrial up a bit we get a bit more generic and we're just gonna think that can come through like that connect up with that and we can let's get that across the top here guys like that you can just squeeze in like there and I'd kind of like to bring round some kind of road connection here but across uh, into here 
so that people here rather than going down round there would catch a ferry say from here and we could have a ferry route up to here to here to over to here hmm but I don't really want to spend too much cash just at the moment because I mean, 133,000 is quite a nice watch of cash, but at the same time, it it could be expensive. I mean, we could. I mean, let's, actually, let's get the education up, guys. This this 75,000. Wow. I think actually, what we could do if we put a university here on this corner. That will actually give people a reason to come up here, and and if we put sort of a little few offices here as well, like that, on this corner, maybe we'll put a a row there. That would give people a reason to travel up on the ferry to here, because they will want to go to the university. Especially once, oh, here we got small town, so we've now got trains, monorails, cable cars. My favourite. I love cable cars. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna do a city. They've replaced my love of footpaths. So we've now got high tech housing, high rise ban. So we've got this running here. I will empty these out eventually. Oh, we didn't get much cash for that. We only got 122,000. Okay, guys. Oops, we're running slow. That might account for why things are not going that particularly that fast. I think we can live with this road, can we? Actually, I'm probably more inclined to up, downgrade, upgrade that, to be honest. And I think maybe we will get some more commercial in there or residential in there I think what I am going to do is we're going to put a ferry terminal over here ferry stop we will put a ferry stop just on the end here and go a little bit creative that, that can connect to there How's the water supply? No, not quite, but of course there's no power, but I think we can again same principle just whack some offices in here. They will oblige and they will come out to there. And I can't see the point of having a ferry terminal there. I think what we can do is uh, it's going to be a pain. I don't want to buy that tile unless I have to. Okay, we're just going to have to do the usual city skylines compromise here. Let's, let's just come there. And I think what I'm going to do is come there through to here. And maybe we'll come down to here and into here and back I mean it's doubling up on the lines I've got no idea what the consequences of that is but I'm assuming ferries can pass each other and do things so we're up to 9700 we've got this area growing nicely again we've got a little bit more industrial coming here and I'm kind of inclined to have a road or actually <laughs> I've just had a sneaky thought guys and we got no water over here so 440 460 460 is now the new 440 although it doesn't seem to line up as well as it used to do it used to oh, I don't know Right guys, let's have a look at monorails. Where are they? Monorails. How much is the track? 75 a cell. 
monorail road station with road monorail station that a through station let's have a look at this I have not built a monorail guys so that looks like it's got to be next to a road like a cable car actually 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 yeah now it says steep slope guys but I'm gonna let you into a little bit of a secret here guys now you've got end of line car stop and cable car stop one of these is actually a through route and it doesn't show very well here but this one is so if I actually just need a straight road for this and what we're going to do is come out like that and if I put that there what you will see is this is a terminal there and what we can do is if I bring a road out here this is just buggering around guys and I, I'm going to be totally honest it is just for buggery sake and now one of the things about cable cars is that this terminal here it's see it's the wrong angle because I want it to go over there so get it to the right angle I've got to put a road off like that and then what we can do is drop a this cable car in like that and then what I can do is we can come out like that where's the terminal oh why won't that connect that that should be a through one this is it why oh state space already occupied okay maybe it won't do that maybe we've got to be away from the road a bit so it can get a pillar in yeah lesson learned there guys you can't put cable cars into a corner like that and then what we're going to do here is again I'm just going to bring a road out like that and this time I don't need to worry too much about well we could curve it nah uh, this this don't be silly totally better not be totally off the wall here guys and what we can do now is come here and connect up to there and we'll just get some water in that's already connected to water so he needs a bit of power and of course he needs a bit of power as well and we've got a cool cable car system guys running through the trees how about how cool is that and there's no complexity of building bridges over the highway and if you click here oh it's not carrying anyone just yet but once we build this industrial area out a bit which i'm just going to do now although we've got a bit of a problem here with probably with residencies and things like that and we can But what we can do now is just build this up. We have to see if we can get them over water. But got another demand for residential. I just want to keep building this area up for the moment. We've got some trash problems here. This is road hasn't connected, so I think we'll have to connect that through there. that can just drop into that corner there uh, maybe we can kind of free base a road through here like that and we can get this area built up this area is coming together quite nicely I think we can get a bit more heavy commercial in here oops nearly went too close we can build this up as a commercial area also want to do a bit more commercial in this area now where you've got high density so I think we can get back to one get the snapping back on and I think we can kind of come down here 
that's the edge of the park. And I think you can kind of come through like that. That's not well, we can just drop that in like that. We'll leave this park here. We don't want to be totally destructive. And just gonna drop some there and again I think we're this is office zone. I think we're we don't want I mean who wants to live next to a lot of noise? So I think we can just drop that in there guys. So we're now up to eleven thousand, we've got hundred and ninety-four thousand in the bank. Let's just have a quick check now. So how are we doing? We've carried five thousand odd people on our ferries. Our cable car system is starting to work quite nicely. Got a bit of traffic coming in the here. What have we got here? Remember, you've got new buildings. Yes, I've, I've, I'm not. Don't think a monorail is particularly appropriate for this city. And what I'd like to do is start now, but we need to get some residential up and running here. Because so we've got this area here that's built up really nicely now. As I say, let's just have a quick click on the boats. So the ferries are, aren't completely overloaded, which is good. And that one's okay. Let's have a quick look at this one. Hopefully this will pick up. Whoops, no. There's got to be some ferry lines in here. Okay, let's click here. Line details. This is actually a busier line because I think what's actually happening is that people from this area, rather than go all the way into town to get to somewhere to travel, they've actually opted for my cable car system, which I really like. Now we've got a low residential area here, so I think what I want to do here is I'm going to, I'm going to start being a bit more creative now, guys. And I think this is the liberating element of mass transit now that I think you can now relax a bit more about your road layouts because you can now manage the traffic a bit better. And I think we can kind of curve around here a bit and maybe we'll just curve into there like that. And maybe we're just kind of Dumb that wasn't really a particularly very good curve. Maybe we're putting you in here and that don't want to do that. Yeah, I, I don't think I need to go min max on this, to be honest, guys. I think I can. You can see the, the grid line there worked quite well. We, that will connect in there. And. High, low density, high density, or well, this is my kind of main center. I think maybe we will keep this a little bit low density. And here. So I think we can. It's, uh, I think we're going to hit the 25,000 easily, guys. I, I can't see it being a problem. And I think we can get some crossroads in. You can get one down to there. And I don't want that. I think what I can do, just to celebrate guys, is I'm going to put a footpath in. Now, footpaths aren't as easy as they used to be. For some reason. They, they've, since this stapping comes on, it, it tries to snap to grids. And it's not as, as user friendly as it used to be. But it works. And I think what we could do is actually here, just to attract people. I know it's not a ferry, but we're playing we're playing a game, guys. We're, we're kind of supporting our local neighborhood. And I think it's just road lengths. See, so you can now switch road lengths on and off. And I think what we're going to do here is come out like that. That's a bit wonky. We'll just get rid of that. And 
you can kind of come this way a bit. And I think what we're going to do is drop some high density commercial in here. I mean, who wants to go shopping next to the local tip? But <laughs> then again, I actually read an article recently about uh, meeting at the municipal um, recycling plant was a good way to pick up people. Uh, or beat people, not pick up people, that's probably not appropriate. Uh, I don't know how true that is, guys. But I better not say that because I'm married anyway, so. And I think we can get that in there. So we've got a massive thing here, but I think, oops, we've got some water issues here. Okay, guys. As so much as it breaks my heart, I'm going to have to go a little bit weird and wonky here. I'm not a big fan. I, normally I like my grids to be very, very neat and tight. So, and I think we can get a bit more high density in my commercial zone here. And we can get some offices through here. So we're now running at 14,000, which is pretty good, guys. And just have another quick check at the target. Yeah, I think getting to 250,000, we're, we're going to have to try and force people onto ferries. I mean, I could buy that tile and connect up through here. And then that would give people a reason to commute up through here but I've kind of part of me says let's let's do something here I mean we got a, where's the railway line can I see it the railway lines right over there okay guys let's let's go for this and what I'm actually going to do uh, do we have no we do not have ports yet so I can't Okay, here we go guys, this is going to have to be quite an affluent suburb for this to work and what we're going to have to do is kind of come in here like this and what we're going to do is put the ferry terminal just over here. I don't want it to be too far from the main road and we're just going to go straight like this and of course we're going to have to set up a water grid ah we've got water over here anyway of course so I think we can come here and we're just going to backtrack onto here I think we're going to start small to start with guys and I think we're just going to start with, uh, I think we'll put a bit of high density on the beachfront here. And just to kind of get the area up and running. And we've got big town, so we've now got water treatment. The Kripo, uh, whatever it's called, a controversial building, Kripo Preservatory, that's chrysogenic, that is part of a science type DLC it did not come with mass transit I actually bought it at the same time that's actually come at a very very good time actually because I need to I think what we can do is like build that here tantalize them to think that it's actually going to go across and we'll drop that in there what I'm also going to do is I think we'll put a crematorium there and maybe how are we doing for cash here yeah, we got plenty of cash so I think maybe we will... Oh bugger, I missed out a little patch in the centre here. Why is that saying it has no water? Oh, water availability is getting low. Okay guys, I need to get this up and running and sorted. So we'll just get another. I think what we can do is put a pump up here. Like that would we'll take a little bit of water out of the lake there's a, a reason for that which I'll explain once I've put the corresponding water treatment plant in down here and we've got a power 
Oh, this looks like we may have a power problem here. So where's oops? So we'll just sneak you across here. I think what we can do is drop some. Um, let's run you down to here. What I'd like to do is have my power feeding into my water main water terminals as that kind of gets things nice and stable. And I think what we can do, again, I'm just going to put some offices through here. Because nobody really wants to live next to that. And offices don't require supplies. So, and of course, no one can move into here till I actually put the ferry link in. And what we're going to do is have a very, very short ferry backwards and forwards here. So we're going to go from here to there back again so hopefully we will have a couple of ferries plying backwards and forwards here although there's people moving in I don't know how they managed to get across maybe they swam across the gap here right I need to get some stuff in very very quickly before they all start complaining and of course what I'm going to do is put a, a road straight down here and we're going to put a garbage right out here and my grid is completely shot to pieces. Okay, I'm just gonna have to eyeball this, guys. Let's just turn that on. That might mean it might let it snap a bit better. It's not perfect, but I think we can get it to work. Okay, guys, we've now got, should have that working. And of course, because this is a self-contained community we've got to put all the other services in we've got a crematorium and I think we're go freestyle a little bit I'm not gonna be bound too much by and I think we can connect that through there and connect that through there we have to get a fire service in maybe we can get you here and police got to get the, the law enforcement into the area health certainly need health how are we doing we've got plenty of cash so that will get this area up and of course we're gonna get a couple of actually this will work maybe we'll drop that in there because we want people to move into here we need as high as possible uh, land value otherwise people will just not move in and there's no point pretending that they will so we've got police we've got fire we've got garbage and the other advantage I'm going to use out here is that because of all the forests and we haven't done anything yet what I'm going to do is drop a fire and rescue helicopter out here and that's going to have a power problem but we can soon solve that because we've got trees out here and just to kind of put a bit of icing on the cake guys what we can do is do this and that's going to be off the map is it yep it's out of city limits but we can put one here what this does is it kind of gives you advance warning of fires. They don't need power supplies. But it does mean that you can keep an eye on the situation. And it does seem to reduce the amount of fires and things in the area. Got some garbage there. That could be a problem. How's the... Our little ferry terminal? Ah, got one passenger. I don't think I put any education in here actually. That's when I, mean, I could force the kids to cross over. I mean that could be useful. I could put get some education going over here. And what that will mean is the local kids will have to come across here to to kind of basically 
go to school. And of course, what they will eventually want to do is actually go to. And I think what I will do is put another terminal up here. I've got to keep an eye on the time, guys. Oh, now we've got a bit of time yet. I've got to keep an eye on the time, guys, because when I start to get into this, I, I can forget completely about the time. And I've actually recorded videos and I've had, well, a couple of times I've had to discard them because the poor old video editing software can't handle two and a half hour videos on certain subjects. So we've now got that connected. We can run some more power into this area here. We'll probably get some on surface public transport running here. We've got a bit more demand for industrial and commercial. Kind of a bit more inclined. Oops, we've got a little bit of water demand here. So, 460. Still not totally sure about that, but get that in here and we'll just keep. a bit a bit clumsy and maybe we'll just put a bit more commercial out here maybe we can come in like that and come across like that and we'll just drop a little bit more commercial into this area and maybe put a bit more residential into this area to perk this area up and get it running. So we're now at nearly 18,000. This is coming up nicely. Got a bit of a garbage problem here. I don't know what's causing that. I don't know if it's these the guys are overloaded. Maybe what I can do is just sneak in garbage just truck thing here. Now, one warning when you do this type of construct, guys, if you come up here. A look at the stats what will actually happen is that you will get a distorted view because like education so if I click on education it will show you that education is kind of well set up or not set up as in this case oh we've got Grand City so we unlock third loan we've now got solar power and but it doesn't necessarily mean everyone will have access to the education so what we can do now is just get that up and running that's gonna work nicely I think this area here oh you got there you've got a high school problem so maybe we'll drop another education in here and you can see the effect immediately so we're now running at 18,000 I think so we got here 19 or 27. I think what we can do is empty one of these. Again, the key here, guys, is don't go crazy with the emptying. Because if you empty both at the same time, what will actually happen is you will saturate your trucks and see that they're kind of coming out here and going there. And what you want to do, little trick here, guys, put a spur in like that. And what should happen? We've got a lot of traffic coming in here don't like that I think we've got 199,000 I think it's time to get a bit proper now guys so have they introduced no okay so let's take this out and I'm gonna put a full-size clover leaf in uh, that's about right because you've got to remember it may be a new DLC but you've still got the principles of building a good city and I don't want that now of course what you've got here is a lot of new highways you've got you've got two-lane highway two-lane sail boundaries two-lane highway but of course what we're going to have here is the, the normal one this distance too short okay I think what I'm kind of inclined to do is come back this way and connect in like that and we, what we can do is probably take that out and that out I'll probably tidy these off up off camera guys 
and the same here this is a bit icky sticky now so I think what we'll do is take this off of Park Highway and I think we can come in like that and of course what we're going to do is we are going to have a roundabout guys so and I think what we can do is go straight so I can get the distance I think we'll come back a bit further we're going to go for a, a 160 and again you can see what's nice and neat now is you get the angles see the angles and what we're going to do I'm way curved and we're just going to just connect this up one thing I'd love Colossal Order to do would be to just snip those back would be to give you parking control and I think what we're going to do is upgrade this to a highway okay and just going to connect like that and of course what would this city be if it didn't have at least one of my famous dual carriageway roads on it so we're just going to come out 140 like that and it's going to pick up about there I think that could come in there and that can come like that and that's the wrong way round because I've done the English direction not the American direction or the funny way everyone drives on the wrong side of the road but that is a relative discussion because the perception of the wrong side of the road depends on where you are and whether the vehicle driver coming towards you is drunk now one of the neat things is that you can now see the direction so we can now reverse that I think we can now unpause and what that should do now is actually that should now start to pull the traffic from this area into here I don't think we need to go over the top and I think what I will do is I think we can come up here and come up straight and I think we can come through here big time like that and maybe we can come up like that I think we should be able to get a connection here like that I must admit I do really like this one way roads because as like the mistake I just made living in the UK getting roundabouts the right way round that's why all my previous let's play I've always used the one way mod so we've now got this up and running we've now got public transport running into it I think we've got the scope to get a bit more kind of industrial up here I think we can drop it in here so nope don't want that I think we'll come here fill that in I think we can put a few offices in the back like that to so speed it up a bit and I'm kind of thinking we've got lots of traffic flow over here we're now at 18,000 and I think this is where I'm gonna leave it guys I think in the next part I actually let's do it I think what oh, can they buy that tile well that's a bit of a shame I'd love to buy that one and that one okay I need to think a bit about where I'm gonna buy my next tile I was thinking about buying yeah I think we'll buy this one and we can't buy anything else okay and ah uh, let's do it guys <laughs> sorry apologies and what I'm thinking is we're gonna have a ferry terminal there they come out like that and connect to there 
Of course, that won't connect to there, but that will connect to there. And I think we can come out here. I'd love to know where the ferry ports are. Because it said that there's an external... Not ferry ports, guys. Cargo terminals are. Because it did say that there's an external connection. And what we're going to do is... I think we can cut through here. Whoops, nope. I don't want that. Uh, I think we can cut a shallow canal through here. And I think what we can do is this is going to make it quite a busy port, but no one's going to travel to that port. So, okay, let's. I think, well, we can connect to uh, straight. And that's going to break the power cables, right? Quick, 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 quick fix. Oh, great, 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 great. Pause, because I think we're going to have to run the power cables this way. And get rid of those. Oh, that's something to remember. That power cables can be broken or cut by... And we've now got a bit of flow here. Let's just have a quick look at the flow. Just have a quick check. Doesn't say. There's some flow coming down from there, so I'd say the sources right up there and and I think what I'm going to do is we're going to start up here we're going to come down to here and I think we're just going to run into this terminal here and run up to there and what that actually means is the fact that people living here who want to work in the industrial area We'll now nip the ferry across here. Actually, what I could do is... I don't know if this will work. Okay, let's put... Uh, no, I don't want to drag the line. I want to create a new line. No, I don't want to drag the stop. Actually, I could drag the stop, couldn't I? And could do then. No, nope, I don't like that. What happened to the stop? Okay, let's colour them. You're red. You're really bright green. And you can be a really garish kind of. Bzz, 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 bzz. Okay. And I think what we're going to do is. Delete the green line. That's the red line. Okay. And what I'm going to do is, or is this won't let me. Don't want to drag that line. Create a new line. Okay. And what we're going to do is run all the way up to there. Back to here. And we're just going to change that colour again. Let's have it nice and black so I can actually see it. Why is this... <sighs> okay. It's not going to let me drag that because that line is connected, isn't it? Hey, bugger. Okay. Create a new line for there and back. Didn't want to do that, guys, but that's a limit. So we've now got this up and running. Is everybody happy here? Yep, Florence area is here. They've got a. They can get across now. They've got plenty of reason to come over here. I put a route in here. I didn't actually, did I? Okay. It's just that's not space already occupied. Space already occupied. Okay. And I think we're on another line into there. And I think you can be a really bright red. So just have a quick look at the scenario just to finish. We carried 16,000 people out of 250. We've got a population of 19,000. We've got plenty of cash, the system's working quite nicely, we've got a little bit of growth, 
which I think we can drop into here, but that will be for the next time, guys. So hope you've enjoyed the episode, hope you found it interesting. And till next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.